What is going on, everybody? Sam Dog, the infamous 253, coming at you guys with Dallas Stewart on the speakerphone down there. Dallas, how you doing? I'm doing good. And now we're about to bring y'all the 2022 for the 2022 NFL season, our week three game picks. Last week we had a split. Dallas won that split. He went seven and nine, and I went six and ten. Not a good week for me, particularly because a lot of crazy come from behind finishes happen and a lot of picks whiffed on but it was pretty freaking crazy though yeah a lot of uh, great finishes that bra- and yep a lot of big comebacks yeah that browns that browns freaking collapse was crazy and same with the freaking ravens collapse to the freaking dolphins man that was insane but now this is out the way and now we're going to get on to week three of the 2022 season. First, we're going to start out with our game, you know, because we know as Seahawks fans, it's going to be a long-ass season for us and definite rebuilding. We got the Atlanta Falcons coming to Seattle, taking on the Seahawks. I will be at that game. Sleet is actually going to be in town with a Norbcam at this game, too, so there's a chance I can meet Sleeta in person. If we do, I might do a little video chopping it up with him, say what's up, you know, take a picture with him, and you know the rest, so you might get a Sleeta appearance on the Sam Dog the Infamous 253 channel in a quick little video probably before the game starts. But, you know, the Falcons, they almost came back against the Rams. The Rams almost pulled an Atlanta Falcons against the Atlanta Falcons, but they took the safety, but the Rams obviously won that game. Meanwhile, we are what we thought we were going to be, and we, didn't, we came out absolutely flat against San Francisco, and definitely we probably saved San Francisco's season with Trey Lance's injury. No offense, 49er fans, but you should probably be thanking us for that. Hope Trey Lance has a speedy recovery, though. Sucks to see a player get injured like that, but, you know, it is what it is for that, but, you know, it sucks to see Lance get injured. Hopefully he recovers, but back to our game. Unfortunately, with how it's going, we could possibly be on pace maybe to possibly go for the, get the number one pick in the draft if the season continues this way. So I got to unfortunately do Atlanta in this game. So I'm going Atlanta Falcons in our, our game. And just because we pick against us, that doesn't mean we want us to lose. We hope we win, but we're just realistic, and that's just how it is. We're just realistic, and we always got to tell the truth. Yep. So, yep. That's pretty much it. Yeah. They should be. They should be more than one. They absolutely should be one. The Saints. Yeah, big time. They definitely choked that one. But Mario is a proven quarterback. He has all that experience and will probably be 0 2 against them since we lost him in week in uh back in a, when he was with Tennessee in 2017. So. Unfortunately, got to pick Atlanta in that one. But now, let's get to the rest of the game. Up next, we got the Pittsburgh Steelers going to Cleveland for Thursday Night Football to take on the Cleveland Browns. The Steelers choked big time, especially when they muffed that punt. That changed the game in favor of New England, but they still ended up losing that game by three points at home to the Patriots. Meanwhile, the Cleveland Browns at home with their new Brownie the Elf logo in the middle of the field. All they had to do, Chubb had the first down, and and the Jets had no timeouts. All Chubb had to do is just get that first down, take a knee. He didn't have to run in the end zone for the touchdown. They missed the PAT. Jets get the ball back, drive down field, hit a touchdown, make the PAT, get an onside kick, recover that, get a touchdown, and win that game by one point. That is a class. That's what you call right there a classic Cleveland Browns choke job right there. Yeah. Yeah, Steelers now are one and one. The Browns are one and one. Who man, this is gonna be a good one. I mean, the defense didn't really. I mean, T.J. Watt still missing for Pittsburgh and Cleveland just choking that game. The defense has to take major accountability for this one. Who still Jacoby Brissett? Jacoby Brissett versus Mitchell Trubisky. Hmm. I mean, granted, Cleveland has a lot more on their defense. I'm gonna. I don't know this. This is a this is a tough one. This is a tough one. You want to go first on this one? I'll let you go first. Um, yeah, I'll probably pick the Browns to to pass back at home. Yeah, even with Jacoby. They have a little bit better of a defense and still players 
on the outside. Yeah, that's a hard one to pick. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead though and take Cleveland as well because of that defense. Because of their de- the little bit better of a defense. Granted, T.J. Watts out there, but who? That's that's a tough one, and that's gonna be a. I hope it's a good Thursday night game. I just hope it's a good game. That that sounds like it's gonna be a good game. Yeah. All right, up next, we got the Buffalo Bills going to Miami to take on the Miami Dolphins. The Buffalo Bills, the Bills arguably, they're the best team in the NFL right now. Let's be real. Did you see the way they freaking kicked the living crap out of the Tennessee Titans last night? They just smoked them. Tennessee didn't even have a chance. And Marv Levy for the Bills got the... uh, the old Bills legendary Hall of Fame head coach got the crowd fired up by doing his old saying, where would you rather be than right here, right now? At age 97, he knows how to still bring the house down. That was that was crazy seeing that. I saw it on a Pro Football Hall of Fame Instagram page saying on there, Marv Levy doing that with Jim Kelly, but that was pretty epic. Meanwhile, Miami Dolphins coming up a crazy come from behind win. Tua Tago Viola leading a crazy comeback, hitting his new favorite target, Tyreek Hill, Mike Kosicki. Tua, who knows? Tua's getting a little better down in Miami. I'm surprised the Dolphins are 2-0. But I got the emotional letdown. Ain't nobody messing with Buffalo. Give me the Bills. Yeah, you might want to keep your mouth closed on the phone. You're kind of breaking it a little bit. But, yeah, you got Buffalo as well? Dallas? You, you doing lo- Wait, you say lock of the week? Yeah, it could be one of the best games of the week. But I'm favoring Buffalo. Right now, they look like the best team in football. All right, up next, we got the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the New York Jets. You know the story last year. The Bengals fell victim to the famous one-game wonder Mike White game last year. And the Bengals lost to the Jets last year. The Jets pulled that crazy come-from-behind win against the Browns. And the Bengals just choked. That was our lock of the week last week. And they choked to Cooper Rush and the Cowboys? How the heck, how the heck do you choke to... The Cowboys without Dak Prescott. Yeah. Yeah, Bengals defense just collapsed and just let the Cowboys just drive it in the game winning field goal range. And the Cowboys just kicked it in like it was nothing. Jets, you know, crazy come from behind, all because Nick Chubb didn't freaking knee it after getting the first down when they had when the Jets had exactly no timeout. So that was a miracle finish for the Jets to even get that win. But I'm sensing emotional letdown for the Jets this week and I'm going to go ahead and take Cincinnati to get their first win of the year and avoid going 0-3. I'm taking the Bengals. Dallas? Dallas? You got the Bengals? Whew. You good, Dallas? Yeah. Alright, just want to be sure. So you got Cincinnati as well. Alright, up next we got the Las Vegas Raiders going to Tennessee to take on the Tennessee Titans. The Raiders, how the hell do you blow a 20-point lead to the Arizona Cardinals in your own house and then lose a fumble and let them take it to the house like that? How the hell do you blow a 20-point lead to the Cardinals? Meanwhile, Tennessee got absolutely throttled and pistol-whipped by the Buffalo Bills, who are arguably right now the best team in football right now, in my opinion. Both these teams owe a surprising 0-2 start. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to favor the running of Derrick Henry. And I'm going to take the uh, Tennessee Titans to get the bounce back win against the Raiders. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Titans. I'm going to probably actually uh, go with the Raiders. Split? Set back-to-back weeks with a split. Yeah, uh, this is this is a good game for both teams. Yeah. Both teams want to avoid going on three, but yeah. I, I like the Raiders in this one. The Titans don't look like they're going to be that good of a team this year. They might not be that good of a team, but something's telling me I think Derrick Henry's going to come in this game running pissed off, and that Titans defense might be pretty pit, pissed, especially the way they choked it, but these teams might be, I mean, Especially the Titans, though. I mean, my buddy Anthony is pretty frustrated the way they've been performing, too. He wants certain people fired from that team. And if it continues to go, maybe they might make some midseason changes. But, all right. Second week with a split. Let's go. But this should be a good game, though. Yeah, I just think the Raiders are going to be freaking pissed about blowing that huge 
second half lead against the uh, Cardinals last week. But then again, you gotta also think the Titans are gonna be pretty pissed about getting oh, blown yeah, out the way they did. Humiliated on national t- television. They're gonna be pissed about getting humiliated on Monday Night Football. That's for sure. All right, up next, we've got the New Orleans Saints taking on Baker Mayfield and the Carolina Panthers. The Panthers are 0-2, blew that game to the Giants. And the Saints, meanwhile, got got into a major brawl last weekend with Mike Evans getting suspended, which which resulted in Tampa Bay recently signing Cole Beasley. So Cole Beasley's now on the Buccaneers, filling in for Mike Evans for the time being. But the New Orleans Saints... You know, it was obvious. Jamel Dean had the pick six. Jameis Winston with his famous turnovers. Meanwhile, Baker Mayfield crapping the bed. Can't seem to get it going with Carolina. I like the Saints defense better than this one. I think they're going to get after Baker and still make life a living hell for Baker. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the Saints. Yeah, give me the Saints. Uh, back. Uh, uh, and drop the uh, Panthers to 0-30. Um, yeah. In this one. Yeah, same. Up next, we got the Baltimore Ravens taking on the New England Patriots. The Ravens choked that game to the freaking Dolphins. And meanwhile, the Patriots squeaked out of Pittsburgh with a 17 to 14 win. But this time, I think the Patriots are in for a letdown. The Ravens are going to be coming in this game super pissed that they blew that game to Miami. So I'm going Baltimore. Yeah, and then up next, we got the Detroit Lions going to Minnesota to take on the Vikings. The Vikings, what the hell happened to them last night against Philly? They let Jalen Hurts just Jalen Hurts just ran all over them with Philly last night. He even had two touchdowns, two running touchdowns in that game. Meanwhile, Detroit just kicked the crap out of the Washington Commanders. Detroit did get their first win of last season against the Minnesota Vikings, and Jared Goff is, getting, is starting to... Get his feet sell in Detroit. Amon Ross St. Brown is playing some good football. Aiden Hutchinson is showing why he's he's living up to the number two pick in the NFL draft. And he's making plays with that defense in Detroit. Detroit's actually surprising so far. I mean, granted, they, they did lose in week one. But, um, whoo, man, Detroit. They did lose to Philly, that same Philly team that beat down Minnesota. Minnesota, just after beating Green Bay, had that crazy-ass letdown. That was That was unexpected, man. Very unexpected. Yeah. Who? But Detroit, you know, they're Detroit's competing. Yeah, they might not be. Uh, they might not be too bad this year. I mean, they might not be uh, just really, really bad. They might be okay. Yeah. Screw it. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna actually pick Detroit to hand Minnesota back to back L's. I'm gonna take Detroit. Games in Minnesota. No, what no thing? I don't know. That's a tough one to pick. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Say what? Mm-hmm. Screw it. I'll go Minnesota. I just Minnesota at home, but Detroit. Just what the hell happened to Minnesota? I mean, Justin Jefferson couldn't get anything going. They they didn't even do nothing against Philly. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and screw it. I ain't taking Detroit. I'm taking Minnesota as well. I'm just going to take the Vikings. We made a mistake one time last year when we picked Detroit. Yeah. Uh, and we should have. The Lions still kicked the crap out of the Commanders last week. So if they surprised, if they surprised Minnesota last year like they did on that last second uh, play, I will be surprised. But, man, I think this could probably be a trap game for Minnesota, just saying. It could be. Yeah, I'm going to go Vikings, though. I'm going to go Vikings. But if Minnesota pulls it off, then damn, I'll be surprised. But, you know, Justin Jefferson's got to be pissed. He's got to get it going. Adam Thielen, who, Dalvin Cook, Kirk Cousins. But this is going to be a good game. But, you know, yeah, forget that said go for the Lions. I'm going for the Vikings on this one. Up next, we got the Philadelphia Eagles going to Washington and take on the Commanders. Carson Wentz wants to get some crazy revenge, but he wants his revenge. And he ended up getting, he ended up getting shut out last week. No, he didn't. Did he get shut out last week? Or no, that was Colts that got shut out last week. Commanders just couldn't hang with Detroit, man. They just could not hang with them. What the hell happened to Carson Wentz and the Commanders against the Lions? Meanwhile, Detroit just took care of their bit. I mean, meanwhile, Philadelphia just took care of their business against Minnesota last night. Jalen Hurts went off in that game. Two rushing touchdowns and 
Philly just rolled Minnesota last night. I'm going to go ahead, though, and I don't think Wentz ain't getting his revenge, even if the game is in Washington. I'm going to take the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, yeah, big time. They got major advantage because of that. All right, up next, we got the Kansas City Chiefs going to Indianapolis, take on the Indianapolis Colts. The Colts got shut out by the Jaguars. Kansas City barely squawked it out against Justin Herbert and the Chargers, and Justin Herbert got injured in that game with his ribs. Is that what it was? Could he be missing? Could Herbert be missing time for the Chargers? Yeah, meanwhile, Kansas City still keeping it going. Colts just can't get any life, and they got shut out by the freaking Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm going Chiefs lock of the week. Dallas? Yeah, I'm get, I'm taking the Chiefs in a lock. That's my lock of the week. Chief, Chiefs over the Colts. That's my lock of the week. What do you think, Dallas? Yeah, this game could be this game could be over by before this game could be over before halftime. Yeah, the they're one of the most disappointing teams so far. Absolutely, and that's why I'm taking Chiefs to blow them the blow them the hell out, make them own three. Up next, you got the Houston Texans taking on the Chicago Bears. Houston was hanging in there a bit with Russell Wilson and the Broncos, and then they just could not get it done, and they were just hanging in there. And even Denver fans were booing Russell Wilson. Meanwhile, the Chicago Bears, freaking. Freaking uh, Jones, the running back, just freaking ran wild. On, Aaron Jones just ran wild on Chicago back on Sunday night. And Packers just dominated the Bears as expected. But they're taking on Houston this time. Justin Fields should get a bounce back win. I'm going to take the Chicago Bears to get a win at home against Houston. Give me Chicago. Yeah, give me Chicago uh, to get to 2-1, surprisingly. Yep. There's three weeks in the dumpster bowl of week three. Yeah. This, is, this is a dumpster ball. It's a dumpster ball. All right, up next, we, up next, we got the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Los Angeles Chargers in SoFi Stadium. Jaguars just shut out and humiliated Indianapolis in Duval back on Sunday. Meanwhile, the Chargers could not... I mean, they were up on, they were up on the freaking Chiefs for a little while, but then they just choked it to Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes does have the Chargers number. Granted, Mahomes, granted Herbert has had the better record. He was 2-0 at Arrowhead going into that game and then they finally dropped one in Arrowhead so Herbert suffers his first loss in Arrowhead to the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes so fantasy injury let's see I don't know Justin Herbert's uh, news for the for the Chargers if he, is he gonna play I don't know let's see get it see if we can look at an injury update Chargers fans can look at this quarterback optimism after Justin Herbert's injury Chargers versus Jaguars and prediction amid Justin Herbert's injury. Mm, still, you know, even if they don't have Justin Herbert, I like their defense. I think they're with Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack and Sebastian Joseph Day and Derwin James and Asante Samuel Jr. and J.C. Jackson, that other cornerback that they got from New England. Even if they don't have Herbert this game, I still like them to find a way to get it done against Jacksonville with a backup quarterback, even if Easton Stick has to play. I'm going to take the Los Angeles Chargers at home. Yeah, I'm going to take the Chargers to bounce back from that, um, you know, close so, lock, close Thursday night loss to the Chiefs. I just can't see the Jaguars having back-to-back good wins in a row. So I'm going to go with the Chargers to get the 2-1. and one. Yep. Up next, we got the Los Angeles Rams going to Arizona to take on the Arizona Cardinals. The Los Angeles Rams almost pulled an Atlanta Falcons against the Atlanta Falcons. Meanwhile, the Arizona Cardinals came back in miracle fashion against the Las Vegas Raiders. The Pottsville curse decided to give them a little break and just just take a day off. But Pottsville Magic will side with We'll side with the LA Rams and we'll come back to continue to haunt the Cardinals. I got the Los Angeles Rams just taking care of the business they left off them during the wild card week of last year. Give me the Rams. Yeah, give me the Rams to get to two, two and one. And 
Um, but yeah, I, I think the, the Cardinals are due for a letdown after that huge comeback win in Las Vegas last week. Yeah. Up next, we got the Green Bay Packers going to Tampa Bay to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, a rematch of the 2020 NFC Championship. Aaron Rodgers versus Tom Brady in Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay barely was able to come back and squawk. It was 3-3 three three for a while until they finally got that one touchdown. I forgot who scored the offensive touchdown for Tampa. Then I know Jamel Dean had the house call, and Tampa Bay was just able to pull it off. 20-10 win over the Saints. Meanwhile, Green Bay took care of their... Took care of the Bears with ease. Aaron Jones had that big day running. But, you know, games in Tampa. I like Tampa Bay better than this one. Tom Brady's always better than Aaron Rodgers. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take the Buccaneers to hand, to beat Green Bay for the third straight time. Give me the Bucks. Yeah, give me the Bucks uh, um, to get to 3-0. and Yeah. Uh, Tom Brady just seems like he's uh, gotten the better of Aaron Rodgers in his career, and I think it continues. Yep. All right, up next, we've got the San Francisco 49ers going to Denver to take on Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos. Russell Wilson, one year removed from the NFC West. Guess he gets to take on San Francisco one more time. San Francisco took care of their business against us. Like I said, pray for a speedy recovery for Trey Lance, but Jimmy Garoppolo ain't no scrub. He gives them the better chance to win, and... He had him in the Super Bowl in Super Bowl 54 in 2019. Had him on the doorstep of the Super Bowl last year in the NFC Championship. Just couldn't get it done against the Rams when Aaron Donald got his hands on him. He threw that, making him try to throw that awkward pass, which got intercepted, which sent the Rams to the Super Bowl. But who, Denver Broncos, they struggled. They struggled against Houston last week, and Russell was still getting booed, was getting booed by the Broncos fans. He couldn't seem to get anything done. But hate to be the one to say it, but I hope. I do hope Denver loses. I I think I think San Francisco can go into Denver and beat the Denver Broncos, which we need Broncos losing because we got their draft pick. We got their draft pick. We want to be able to get some good on it to build for our future. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the 49ers to go into Denver and beat the Broncos. I, I'm taking San Francisco. Yeah, give me San Francisco to uh, yeah, knock off the uh, Broncos and get to 2-1. Uh, the Broncos offense is like a dismal the first two games. Yeah. They really just cannot seem to get it going on offense. Yeah. Their defenses look good, but their offense, I don't know how long it's going to take Russell Wilson to get that up front going. Yeah. All right. And last but, not least, last but not least, we got the Dallas Cowboys going to New York to take on the New York Giants, MetLife Stadium. Cowboys pulled that crazy win against the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals have struggled against Dallas. Even with Joe Burrow, they they could not... You're telling me they can't beat Cooper Rush? Meanwhile, the Giants... Giants surprisingly 2-0, taking care of their business against Baker Mayfield and the Carolina Panthers. But, you know, I like Dallas' offense a little better, even with Cooper Rush. And I think this week, I think Dallas, even with Cooper Rush, makes the Giants 2-1. and one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the Dallas Cowboys to win with Cooper Rush as their quarterback. I just like them a little better. I just like them better than the Giants. Yeah, this is a little tricky one. This is a tricky one. But they um, still have CeeDee Lamb, and Cooper, Cooper Rush was getting CeeDee Lamb going. They still have Zeke on their offense, and Rush found a way to... Yeah, you know, I think they need to cut with Cooper Rush to get to uh, in the end of the their first loss. Yeah. And there you... Yeah, but I don't, I don't see it with them, especially after Cooper Rush beat the defending AFC champs. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and there you have it. We got Browns over Steelers, Bills over Dolphins, Bengals over Jets. We split on Raiders and Titans. I took the Titans. Dallas took the Raiders. Saints over Panthers, Ravens over Patriots, Vikings over Lions, Eagles over Commanders, Chiefs over Colts, Bears over Texans, Chargers over Jaguars, Rams over Cardinals, Buccaneers over Packers, and Falcons over Seahawks, Niners over Broncos, and Cowboys over the Giants. Sorry, we took a little bit on that Minnesota-Detroit pick. That was kind of a hard one. I need, I need to rethink it. But when we commit to the pick, that's when we're committed to it. So there you have it. So I went 6-10. and 10, Dallas was 7-9. and nine. Let's see if we do a little better this week. This Last week was crazy. Let's see if we do better this week. We'll catch you on the next one. If you ain't with it, you ain't infamous. And as always, go Seahawks.